Welcome to Journeys, my name is JackSepticEye and welcome back to Shadow of the Colossus. Wonder and Egg Roll are gonna head off because we have to fight a big bad birdie boy this time. No, we're not fighting Big Bird from Sesame Street. I wish, that'd be hilarious. Um, we are fighting mm, the need to cough right now. Um, we are fighting Avion, which is, yeah, my second favorite, I have to say. That's what I said in the last episode as well, right? I'm just trying Because <laughs> there's a bunch that I really like. I like Phalanx a lot as well, but I think... I think Avion wowed me more when I played them. Just because it was... Well, you'll see. But I, I, I can't... I can't top Gaius. I can't take Gaius off the top of my list. Gaius was just the best one that there ever was. He's just so cool. Oh, there it is. That's where we're heading, down there. Between that tuning fork down there. Wow, so majestic. Also, um, I did see a bunch of comments from people asking me to turn off motion blur. Which, it's off now, by the way. So now when I move the camera around, it's less bleh. Because when I had the motion blur on, it kind of just blends everything together. And it gives the appearance of it looking smoother. It's less jittery at sometimes, but at the same time, it's very hard on the eyes to have motion blur. And normally if I'm ever playing like a PC game, motion blur is the first thing to ever go off. And I don't know why I didn't turn it off on this, because it was pretty bad. It just smears the whole image together. But, hold on. Here is a shriny do. So I have to look for a salamande. There's none right here. Where are you, little buddy? Where are you, little silver-tailed friend? Come on out, buddy. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm not. I'm just gonna kill him outright. He's gonna feel no pain. Where the fuck is he? Salamander? Oh god, I'm stuck. <laughs> I couldn't jump or anything. There he is! I see him! Get him! Okay. Egg roll, you stay there. Where'd he go? There he is. I see him. Shh. Egg roll, shut up. Egg roll! Huh. Okay, I knocked him off. And then you hit him with the one, two, tap. Watch. Oh, just like that. Nailed him. Sweet. Um, oh wait, I'm, I want to get this. Because these show up in the map, don't they? I love that effect, that's cool. Um, yeah, they do. Okay, awesome. Egg roll, let's go! Yeah, yeah! Also, wonder, where are you keeping all those arrows? He has infinite arrows, you can just keep using them forever. Where are you keeping them? He's inside your butt. I also love that, if you go into the... These areas. <laughs> Let's see if we can just stop and listen. Shh. Egg roll, shut up. We're listening out for footsteps. No. Usually if you go into these, like, cavern areas, there's salamanders everywhere, like, way up high, and you can kind of hear their footsteps going off behind your head. It's really cool. But we're not here for that. We're here for this location. This one is a bit of a pain in the ass, because it's all in water. Which is also, again, I keep talking about the pacing of the Colossi, and how they change from one to the other. So this one is like a double new, if that makes any sense to you. Oh god, the water is so dark. So we have to, we have to fight a guy underwater later on. <laughs> It's not gonna be that dark, is it? I hope not, because that's gonna be freaky. I actually don't know if it's faster to climb that way or not. Alright, let's go. Let's destroy this motherfucker. This guy's so cool. Everything's quiet, and then... There he is! 
So when you see this for the first time, you're like, wait, what? There's a bird? And this is where the game gets really bananas. Because, as I said, this shit was hard to do back in the day. Just having them walk around on the ground and having them, like, be things you can climb and all that kind of shit. And then you have one that can fly. That's just crazy. So, this one's a double new Colossus because you have no ground. Not only do you have no ground when fighting him, but because normally you're on the ground and you run after them and then you climb them. But this one's like, wait, this is all water and he flies. What the fuck? And then, like, the first time you do this, you have no idea what to do. Well, I know exactly what to do, because I've played this a billion times, but... He's sleeping right now. His eyes are all gone dark. So we, we, we gotta wake him up. But the, another reason why this is all water is not just to throw you off, but it's that if you fall off him, because he flies, that you don't die, basically. Hello, fella! He's so menacing looking. I love him so much. Here we go. Okay, get ready. Get ready. Oh my god, he creates waves! That was awesome! He created like a big ripple in the water because he was going so fast and so low. That's fucking cool! Oh, this is way more intense. The wind effect and everything is cooler. Oh, Jesus Christ. He just slid on me for a second. That's way too high. It'll do. It'll do. We'll figure it out. Yeah, take it. Take it. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, Jesus, don't fall off. Don't fall off. This is one of the more annoying ones to fall off because you have to wait so long to get back up. Same with Gaius, the third one. Okay, you're coming very close to the edge, which means you might flap soon, and I don't want the flappy flaps. Don't flap, 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 don't flap. Ah, Jesus! Okay, don't flap, but don't do that either. Ah, come on, man! I was holding grip! That's bullshit! When- when you're holding grip, normally you can't fall off ever. At least in the old version of the game you can't. Because if you're holding grip, it means that no matter what happens, wonder if he's gonna fall off, he'll grab like the closest edge. That was just horseshit, the physics all messed up on me. Show me what you got. Let's tantalize him again. Did it hit him? Come on down! Come on down! <laughs> also, you want to stand in the middle one in this. Because if you stand in the middle, then one of his wings has to pass over you. He either goes on the left-hand side or the right-hand side. Wait, I want to see that wave again. Oh yeah, that's cool! He's so awesome! I love him so much! This is annoying now, because normally you can destroy his tail and then get his wing at the same time, and then you fall off and have to get back up. But now I've fallen off already, so now it means I probably have to fall off again. And... BADOOSH! Wait, is that that one gone? Jesus! I might actually be able to hold on. What? I guess I'm doing it in a wrong order now, that's why. Don't flap, don't flap, don't flap, don't flap, don't flap. Okay, no, grab the fur, you dumb! Grab the fur! Now, big, big, big swing! What the fuck? Okay, that worked out anyway. Normally, I slap the tail, that's done, I go over and get one of the wings, but my grip is so low by then that I have to fall off. And then I get back up and do it again. Still only fell off once. Shouldn't have fallen off. That was horse shit! Oh, I wonder if I didn't fall off would I have been able to do it all in one go. That would be insane. But, I also don't want to power through these guys too quickly. He floats? 
Oh, that's creepy. Oh, that's really creepy. In all my years of playing this game, I have never seen him float. But man, that was way more intense. That felt very different than the original one. Because when he flew close to the water, you actually saw like a swell of water come with him because he had so much speed and force and wind behind him. That was amazing! Realistic water goes a long way. Hi, friends. Do you think each one of them represents the height of each colossus? So the Gaius guy is like the tallest of them? There we go, we beat Big Bird. Is that gonna fall over? No. <laughs> so now three of my favorite colossi are all gone. I mean, I love them all. It's just that they're, they're the ones that were just super cool. We still have one left to go, and we don't get to that until number 12. Dormi. Thy next foe is... A giant lurks underneath the temple. Oh, I don't like this guy. It lusts for destruction, but a fool, it is not. This is Barba. I don't like Barba. Barba's lame. He does have a bitch and beard, though. And I want to see that. Egg roll! Egg roll! There he is. She is. Sorry. Let's go, egg roll! Yeah! Don't fall down the steps and hurt your ankle. Um, Barba is over here. Yeah! Alrighty. Um, yeah, I went back and watched some of the original game. Or I watched some of my original series, which is the PS3 remaster of this. And Dorman's voice, I don't like in this version. Because it's very clearly just a woman's voice and a man's voice. And they're played... They're, they're too distinct from each other, so stuff doesn't really blend together. Um, fastest way around to the right. They don't really blend together like the old version did, where it sounded like it might have still just been two voices, but it sounded like there was a bunch more of them. And everything was kind of mixed and jumbled together, so all the, the words sounded so ethereal. It sounded so otherworldly. Yeah. Whereas in this, you can just tell it's two voices played at the same time, and I'm not a fan of that like, I, 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 like that build up kind of reverb sound, and oh my god, this is gorgeous. Ah, the forested areas are cool! Wow! Okay, we might have to go off the beaten path here for a sec. Just to explore. We are supposed to go down that way, but... Look how pretty! Oh, and there's a temple here. Or a shrine of worship. Salamander? Huh. Oh, see, yeah, I, I don't know what I did recently, but I fucked up my voice. I can't remember what I was doing. I just woke up one day and my voice was just absolutely gone and messed up. Which normally never, ever, ever happens to me. Normally I can scream and shout and roar all day, so this is something different. It's not from strain. And now it sounds bad because every time I try and, like, put some energy into something, my voice gives up on me, so I have to take it a little bit easier so I get it back. I don't want to mess up my voice. But this is a nice chill game to do that with. What the fuck is the salamander? Did you guys see him yet? Ah, oh, the fucking camera. Oh, there he is! He's not even on the temple! Did they get him? Oh, I nailed them. It's cool as well because they just melt into the ground, but if you hit them in their tail, the tail will fall off in the arrow, and then the salamanders can run around again anyway. But I just like killing them. This is very, very nice. This looks... This is one of the areas to show off to show the difference in the game. Like the forest in the original, well, still looked cool. They just... 
they didn't look like forests. This looks like an actual place you could go to. The textures are super nice, and the little pond has all that moss all over it, and the way the light filters through through the trees. It's very realistic. I want to explore this a bit more. It's a cool looking area. So pretty. Wow. Let's go over here and admire, admire the view. Actually, I think I can get down over here. Yeah. God. That's so awesome. Also, let, let's check out the, the camera mode for a second. So, you can like set up your own shots like this now. And make everything look all super cool, but because we have filters you can make it look vivid, warm, cool, but one of my favorite filters is night mode. No, that's noir mode. Night mode. So you can see what the game would look like if it was nighttime. Well, in a way, it's not super dark, but... It would just be cool if there was some sort of dynamic day and night in this game. I mean, that's not the point. So I think the point is that this is like an otherworldly area that's kind of always just in perpetual light, maybe. There's the footsteps. <gasps> you have a silver tail as well! What? Come here! Come here, you little shithead! I got him! Huh! I thought the silver ones were only at the shrines. Oh yeah, and there's fruit. There's fruit you can get too. Did I fall all the way down? Well, what's the fucking point then? God, this camera is ass. Didn't fall in here, no? But all those fruits fall off! And down into the water or wherever. Any other trees with fruits? I think the fruit ones increase your health. I wonder could we go down? Whoop! Here we go. Eat that fruit. Does it increase my health or replenish my health? Because I never got the fruits or the salamanders again. Might just replenish it. The water has had such a big change in this game now. And I'm glad they still kept like all the physics on the cloth on his on his garb, because that was a big thing as well. Just to see him run around and see everything, because everything was physics based. Oh, look at the fog! This is so atmospheric! This looks so much better. Obviously, but... Man, some people were, were, were very worried about the art style changing too much. And that it being realistic would take away the vibe of the game, but... I don't know, man. This is really goddamn atmospheric as well. And look at the way the water ripples as I go through it. It actually creates like one big ripple. It's all the little details like that. And I'm, I'm just a big fan of fog in games anyway. I'm just a big fan of fog in general because it makes everything look spooky. It makes everything have like a cool... Oh my god, did you see that aggro just went through the ground? Um... Did aggro just break? Is that what happened? Oh, I ate... I got the salamander and I never went to the... Shrine and actually prayed. Aggro literally just went through the ground right here. And now he's not showing up. She's not showing up, sorry. Hey, Grohl! Aggro! Oh, thank God. I thought you were gone, buddy! That was scary. If we didn't have Aggro, then... 
Nothing to do on anything. Oh, the desert area. So down there, at that stonework, is where we fight my other favorite one, Phalanx. This is awesome. And the dust is being like kicked up by the wind and everything. And Agro leaves like little footprints. This game is badass looking. Again, making the game more realistic kind of grounds it a bit more and it kind of makes you feel like you could be part of this world a bit more than what the original was. And to me that kind of makes the, the Colossi a bit scarier. There's a lot of lore and theories about these circles as well. Yeah. What these like pillars and everything mean. If they're pillars of power to keep the Colossus in. Yeah. I like those theories. Oh yeah, we're going right now. Yeah. Any shrines? Anything? Any more papaya trees? Yeah. No. And if there are. We ain't got no time, y'all. We're here to kill a Colossus. And yeah. kill a Colossus we will do. When I played this part, when I played the 12th Colossus in my original playthrough, I messed it up. Because I increased the brightness the episode before. And then when I came back, we're going down there by the way, but I want to go over and get this uh, shrine. Yeah. I increased the brightness the episode before and forgot to change it back, so the whole episode with Phalanx was just fucking awful. You couldn't see anything. I forgot the eagle follows us. Aww. I wonder if you can grab the eagle again. Because you used to be able to break the game a small bit and grab the eagle and fly around on that. I'd never done it myself though. You have to time things properly. That's not the salamander, is it? Is it? It is! Got him. <laughs> I knew I didn't hit him with that first one. Oh man, that means I have to go back and get that other shrine again. I want to have my map full. I want to get everything. And this whole area now looks so much like Ireland. Like this kind of stuff is like what the what some areas in Ireland look like. Down on the like southwest coast. A lot of areas just look like this. This this might as well just be modeled after Ireland and the cliffs. Cause if any of you have seen the new Star Wars movies, um seven or eight. The- the area that Luke is in... Oh, Agro's eating grass! That's so cute! The area that Luke is in, the little island that he's on, is a- is an island off Ireland called Skellig Michael. Or Skellig Michael. Michal. Yeah! Um... And it's a really cool place, I've never been, but it just looks super cool and it kind of looks like this sort of stonework type of area. I love it. That's one thing I really love about Ireland is the, the scenery. Oh, I was gonna jump off and try and grab the eagle. Okay, Agro. Slow it on down. Agro, you stay there. Be a good egg roll, okay? I have to go this alone. Agro! Egg roll, I love you! Just go off and eat grass now, egg roll. Be happy. If I don't come back in 10 minutes, just wait longer. Wow. Lighting in here is cool. Actually has like proper shadows and everything. That's impressive. Can I roll through? Oh, there's blocks. 
I wanted to be cool and roll. Oh, this one I can roll. No, I can't. Ha <laughs> ha! I have bested you, game. Okay, here we are. Doo doo. Doo doo. This guy's an angry old man. I like to call him the Grandfather Colossus. Literally not pressing anything. The game just likes to do this. To set you up for certain, like, viewing angles. Now you can fall. I don't care. Break your legs for all I want. So you can just do this. Smart boy. Oh god! That's cool! Come on out, Barba! This is Barba, isn't it? I'm gonna call you Barbara. Barbara Streisand. We just call you Barb for short. What's up, Barb? Ah, oh, he looks awesome now. Cause he had the, the big bushy beard? Oh, and he is like, he looks like a gorilla. The way his hands are. Oh god, don't fall over. Go under. Go under. Go under. You can still see, uh, you can control Wander in the cutscenes, so just run around in circles. <laughs> I love it. It's like super serious game. This big giant creature is coming to kill you, but no. <laughs> we'll just <laughs> run around in circles when he's chasing me. Oh no. Climb! I pressed jump and he didn't do anything! Oh no! Oh god, sometimes you get caught in a little clip of the ground and it doesn't work. But he kind of looks like an ape now, doesn't he? This is what I mean. I want to stare at him. Camera just controls itself back. It's so annoying. Just fix that. Let me look wherever I want. Oh, big scary gorilla boy. I'm in here. Hi. That's it. Bend down. Oh, bits of his fur all fall off, too. Hello, I'll be your stylist today. I'm here to condition your beard. Wonder, what are you doing? There you go. Now you're moving. He's not moving! What the fuck is happening? Weird. But the way everything sways now, he looks so much hairier. I love that. Oh, and you got a big spine. Oh, you can shimmy sham all you want. The only shaman that'll be going on is the fucking sham wow that I need to get all the dirt out of your fur. Maybe that's what we should call you, sham wow. <laughs> okay, just get my grip back. Kyop! Jump! Got him! And wait, wait for the second one, wait for the second one. Oh, boo! Give it to him, give it to him. Give it to him! Is that one gone? Yes. Do, do, do. Oh, hold on. Hold your horses there, Barb. Hold on, Sally. Okay, not what I wanted to happen. Oh, God, fucking Jesus. I'm like a rag doll being flung around by a child. Hello? You look like you have appendicitis. I'm going in the back. Most doctors wouldn't, they'd go in the front. I give you a little abdomen scar, but I'm a professional doctor, okay? I'm a surgeon. I'm a colossus surgeon. There we go. There we go. Fixed all of your problems. Now you don't have to worry about kidney infections anymore. Because you're dead. <laughs> oh, them having, like, posable digits on their hands now. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Oh, they took away the- Oh, wait, sorry, wrong button. They took away the ability to take out your sword after the fight. Oh, that was weird. 
Normally, if the Colossus is dead, we're able to still stand on their back and stab the dead body. Which is really messed up and weird. But at least you could do it in the original. You can't do it in this one anymore. You can't even take out your sword. He automatically puts it away. Damn. That one actually went pretty quick. If I was doing the time trial mode, I think I actually would have beaten the time on that one. That will all come, by the way. Now I'm just dicking around and messing around and looking at the game and marveling at how pretty and everything it is, but... The speed runs will come. The, the, the time attacks. There he is, Barb, the exploded man. Oh, the other one's heads disappeared. They decompose. Huh. Thy next foe is... A ruin hidden in the lake. Oh, that guy! A ripple of thunder lurks underwater. Yeah, that's the underwater guy I was mentioning. I'm curious to see how he's gonna be. He's the... the... I'm not gonna say. If this is your first time watching the game or playing the game. Which... There were an astounding number of people who had never seen or watched or played this game before. Because I asked in the last episode if they had, and so many people, and including a shit ton of streamers and YouTubers as well, which surprised me. A lot of them are playing this one for the very first time. Which, I don't know, I feel like you should probably still play the original for the first time to get the, the true vision of what the team made. But, I mean, from what I've played so far, you can't really go wrong with this one. This is pretty damn good so far. I'm, I'm really, really liking this. Hi, Mono. You still dead? You wanna come back to life for me? What if I hide? Will you come back then? Oh, this looks like it has a little sad face on it. <laughs> okay, well I'm gonna leave that episode there. Um, yeah, as I said that the faces are now gone off these ones that I've defeated. The faces stay on the, the new ones. And that was always a thing that between you defeating the Colossus and when you actually show back up at the temple, it happens instantaneously for us. But you never really know how long that will take, how long you've been here, how long it takes between when they're dead and you actually come back here. Could be a really long time or it could actually be instantaneous. So a lot of stuff decomposes or that could just be an effect for the game because some of the Colossi's graves are all covered in dust and dirt and everything by now like they've been dead for a really long time so again might just be a case for the game. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, PUNCH THE LIKE BUTTON IN THE FACE! LIKE A BUZZ! And... I've all around. Whoosh! Whoosh! But thank you guys and I will see all you dudes! Let's go! Miss Barb.